Tyler Adams is quickly endearing himself to the Ellen Road faithful at Leeds United, and if he continues this form of his life, we could potentially have one of the best defensive midfielders in the Prem starting for the US in Qatar. But what is Tyler Adams actually doing that makes him so successful on the pitch? I think I've found two specific things that are unique to Tyler Adams that make him so, so good, and I'm gonna break that down for you today. What is up everyone? My name is Jake and you're watching It's Called Soccer. I'm a UEFA C licensed coach currently living in London, England, and I love to break down the players and coaches as it relates to the US national team. Today, I'm excited to revisit a breakdown of my favorite player for the national team, Tyler Adams. If you are watching on YouTube, YouTube has blocked my full video with the HD highlights, but you'll still get to see in this how good Tyler Adams actually is. But if you do wanna see the full video with the breakdown and the highlights, everything included, I put that on the It's Called Soccer Patreon. It's a great way to support me as a creator and you can get exclusive benefits for as little as $2 a month. But all right, enough of that. Let's break down Tyler Adams and what makes him such a unique and special player. The first thing we have to talk about is a specific skill that Tyler Adams has. And the second is going to be what that translates to in the mindsets of his opponents on the pitch. Tyler Adams is a world-class denier of half turns. Have you ever noticed how good Tyler Adams is at anticipating what the second and third touches of the attacking player will be? Have you ever noticed that Tyler Adams makes a lot of his tackles on the blind shoulder of the player that is dribbling? He uses this skill to completely shut down what is called a half turn. And a half turn is when a player, usually in the midfield, takes a second or third touch to adjust their body so they can progress the ball forward. Tyler Adams has a special ability, and I truly do mean special here, of anticipating what direction that touch will be from the opposing player and winning the ball back for his team. The real kicker here for players that are great in this area is that attacking the blind side takes the dribbling player by surprise and makes the dispossession easier. It's such an effective way of winning the ball because you're attacking the ball and the player from an area that they don't expect. Now you may say at this point, hey Jake, don't Premier League level players look over their shoulder before they receive the pass? And that may be true, but in these highlights you can see the speed at which Adams can close down spaces and angles and still take some of the best players by surprise. After Tyler Adams makes the first few tackles in game, something starts to happen within the mindset of the opposition. And this brings us to the second thing I want to talk about with Tyler Adams, and it's a direct result of his denial of half turns and the amount of time that he allows ball carriers to have. Now imagine you're an opposing player for a moment and you receive the ball for the first or second time in the match and Tyler Adams comes from your blind side and denies you the half turn and he surprises you with his agility and speed. Then the next time you see him, you're facing up, you see him on the pitch, but he completely harasses you, he shuts you down, and he doesn't play defense passively. It takes all of your energy and effort to get past him, and even when you do, maybe you've just won a throw in at best. What do you think goes through the mindset of these opposing players throughout the match? Tyler Adams puts opposing players on edge and crushes their confidence. The next time they receive the ball with their back towards goal, they'll be worried if Adams is right behind them, even if he's not. The next time they're face up and see Adams coming to defend them, They'll just pass it backwards because they know how much effort they need to go through to get past him. We can see this in the Chelsea vs Leeds match where Tyler Adams completely blanketed Conor Gallagher and by the time Gallagher was subbed off, he was completely deflated and probably saw visions of Tyler Adams when he laid his head on the pillow that night. Now Tyler Adams is in the form of his life, but he's also young and he has a lot of time to develop his other skill sets. In the harassment of the opposition, he is already elite. Thanks so much for watching this video, everyone. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, make sure to subscribe so that we can fill out even bigger stadiums with the It's Called Soccer subscriber base. Right now, with 5,500 subscribers, we're selling out the Chai Memorial Stadium that hosts the Chattanooga Red Wolves. But I want our community to do better. I want our community to sell out bigger and bigger stadiums. You can help us do that, packing larger stadiums by hitting that subscribe button below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something new. And I'll see you next time on It's Called Soccer. Peace.